everybody, welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're gonna be doing some soccer shots. Um, the best ones, the ones that I use, um, the best shots that I think you should practice and try out in games, because it can get you some goals. So, let's see. I mean, if you play soccer, you know what I'm talking about, even if you play defense, I mean, this is the first shot you'll ever you'll ever learn. It's pretty simple. Is um, you're running up to the ball, playing your foot like I don't know, maybe right here. Uh, and basically, what you do is you uh, actually ha have your have your uh, base foot like right here to the ball, and then you just swing around like this, out with your leg like this, and then um, it's hitting sort of the knuckle of your big toe, sort of right here. Um, you're, you're basically just swinging, boom, follow through. I mean, it's just the way your leg was going originally. So it's pretty simple. So yeah. If you don't know what it is, basically what it is, is you're just uh, hitting it like almost straight up uh, over the goalie's head into the goal. Uh, you want to get as much height as possible without hitting it too far. Uh, so yeah, uh, so what this shot is, is basically you're planting your uh, support foot uh, pretty close to the ball. Like as close as possible without, you know, just having it right on the ball. So like roughly right here. And then what you want to do is you uh, keep keep your like um, up uh, your leg above your knee in one spot. Keep it like roughly straight down, but um, keep your like move your foot as high up as possible, and then just swing down. And basically, uh, you you don't want to do follow through. It's just a simple. Uh, and um, while you're doing that, uh, if you're like moving while you're doing that, it's better. But if you're staying still. It's a little harder to do a chip shot, but yeah, that's the chip shot. If you play defense or if you play uh, midfield or something like that, something that's more back or even goalie, you'll know what I'm talking about. It's just, it's literally just clearing it. So, I mean, it's basically the basic shot, but you're just hitting it as hard as possible. And um, yeah, I mean, it's a basic, uh, you swing your foot out, uh, you hit it at like, then sort of the knuckle of your big toe, maybe a little bit higher than that on your foot. And then uh, you just want to swing at the bottom of the ball, like this. Uh, and then the follow through, it's, like this so just swing your foot in the direction it's already kind of going like around uh, in rotation around your uh, your leg so yeah Like, say your teammate makes a bad pass, uh, and you gotta, like, say that this blue line right here is the goal. I'm not sure if you can see it, but say, I mean, this is the edge of the goal. Say, like, they make the pass over here, and you just gotta, like, uh, you just gotta redirect it straight to the goal. Sometimes it's a pass, sometimes it's a basic shot. It just depends on uh, where the goalie is. If the goalie's far out, and they missed, or they dove for that um, original shot, then uh, you don't have to worry about like uh, hitting it like too hard. You don't have to worry about like you know making a basic shot into the goal unless the goalie is like still standing up, still facing you. But yeah, and then um, the way you want to do this is uh, if you know how to pass, uh, it's it's just passing into the goal or it's a basic shot, you know. Um, but if you don't know how to pass, it's like inside of your foot, the little part that like is round, I guess. 
the arch of your foot right here. Um, you just want to, yeah, it's a simple like boink, but yeah, that's it. like this. You do not want to uh, boot, boot the ball with your foot flat on the ground. That is not good. It hurts a lot, okay? Uh, you can see in this clip right here that uh, it hurts a lot when you when you hit it straight on like this. Okay? You don't want to hit it like that. Um, what you do want to hit it like is you want to have your foot, like the top of your foot, almost perfectly vertical just like this and then you drag it along the ground like this into the ball and then just like that I mean like the toe boot isn't even like it's slightly faster than that but this is really only used if he wants to catch the goalie off guard if they have their legs wide open and you want to nutmeg them you can use this to just like toe boot it in between their legs or if they're really far away from the goal, like they're really far out uh, and they're moving closer to you, you can just quickly move uh, to the side of the goalie and then just do a quick toe boot. Um, so yeah, that's about it. Uh, if you don't know what a nutmeg is, it's hitting the ball in between someone's legs so say this, say this ball's moving forward and uh, it goes in between my legs, that's a nutmeg right there. So um, sometimes uh, you get really close to the goalie and um, the goalie has their legs spread out like this and they're, uh, they're like preparing for you to, you know, uh, hit a shot to their left or right. So they have to crush low to get ready for a dive. But um, uh, you can use that to your advantage by just hitting it in between their legs. Uh, while they're spread open and a lot of times the goalie can't react like this in time for, uh, for, to, for them to stop the ball. So it's pretty useful if they get uh, like far out from the goal and you want to just like hit it in there. What it is, is uh, it's just passing with the inside of your foot like I said earlier. It's just a simple point like that and then hit it between your legs to right to the goal. ball in the air sometimes uh, in some occasions it's just letting it bounce once like hold on. it's letting it bounce once hitting it back up in the air it's just keeping it in the air like a you know like a, a juggle a normal juggling soccer when you're like practicing or something just like that so uh, basically what it is is just uh, to get the ball up you want to do a messy flick well which I will explain in a little bit uh, actually I'll explain right now. So basically, uh, what it is, is you are planting your foot as far under the ball as you can. Uh, and uh, while you're standing still, it's pretty easy to get in the air. But while you're running, it's pretty difficult. So practice is a lot. I mean, it took me forever to get it into the air while I was running. But uh, yeah, I mean, you just, you just that simple flick up in the air and then as you're running uh, when it bounces uh, when the when it bounces on the ground um, hit it up with like sort of the laces on your cleats um, and yeah I mean just keep it up you can hit it over the goalie sort of like a chip but uh, yeah that's it. You know, some people call this a pump fake. I call it a delay, just because you're delaying when you're gonna hit the ball. So Mbappe does this a lot. If you watch him, 
Uh, I mean, he does this uh, in a lot of games. But basically what it is, is you're swinging, like you're going to uh, hit a basic shot, and then you roll your foot over the ball. Here, that was, that was a bad example. You, you roll your foot over the ball, uh, move it to the side a little uh, to give you some space from a defender, say a defender jumped in front of you to block a shot, uh, or the goalie even. You can just uh, you can just sidestep them with the basic shot, uh, like the delay hit. You can boom, boom, pass it in, simple, you know, hitting it in. Simple boink. It's basically like the clear shot I explained to you earlier, but it's a driven shot. It's, it's a hybrid, basically. If you don't know what a driven shot is, it's just a basic shot, but you're hitting it flat on the ground. Like, it never le it never goes into the air or anything. It just stays on the ground, like, like this. Um, but a driven clear is just hitting it as hard as possible, almost like a pass, uh, just like keeping it on the ground as you're hitting it. So, yeah, I'll show it to you right now. Okay, so this second to last shot is the um, CR7 redirect. Uh, I call it the CR7, you know, Cristiano Ronaldo redirect, just because I don't think he really uses this, but it reminds me a lot of his of his um, step overs, the way he uh, uses both his feet to like uh, pass the ball in between his feet, like like you know, just going back and forth zigzagging. Uh, it's just hitting it with the back of your, uh, like, your main foot behind your other foot. Like, normally when you're receiving a pass, you want to receive it like this, but sometimes it, you get a bad pass, and the goal's like, I don't know, to the left of you or to the right of you or something like that. So, uh, you just, like, step over, uh, on, like, say, like, the pass is harder than you thought, so, uh, your foot's, your main foot is a little over. So you just like, you just hit it, uh, it's a simple pass behind your main foot. Alright, if you don't know what a slide tackle is, what it is, is um, if the ball is like, Sort of to the right of you, then you stick, then you stick your left foot forward, and your right foot goes like this. Uh, you just kind of like your your whole right leg is used to like um, I don't know soften the blow on your left leg. Um, you're just sliding uh, on your uh, like on your body like this. But um, if the ball's a little to the left of you like this, then you go right foot first uh, and then left leg. Uh, like supporting your right leg and uh, yeah you just slide uh, into the ball to hit into the goal uh, sometimes this is ba basically used as a redirect if like the pass is really far forward and you don't think you can get to the ball in time by just running you can slide which gives you some extra speed to stop the ball from going out and possibly getting a goal with it